What's going on, everybody? It's Raj. Um, <coughs> my uh, 2006 Mitsubishi Outlander doing the brake change. And some uh, cross drilled rotors. There's my old rotor. What it is that there's two bolts in the back. That bolt or caliper. Once you uh, loosen those up, you should be fine. Slide right through. That's all I got for now. When I get done, I'll take some more video. Once you remove the caliper, uh, just push out the brake brake pad like so. Uh, match up the new ones, and uh, sometimes you might need a tool to push back the brakes. Make sure that you uh, <clears throat> your reservoir. Make sure you take the you know top off, and you can use this to push it. You know, the fluid will back up a little bit. Um, that way, you don't have to really bleed your brakes compared to if you disconnected. Your brake line, uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. <coughs> Changing these out. So here we are on the other side. Get your 17 deep socket. Get in there and uh, be careful. You don't want to hit the fitting and bend that and have leaking fluid everywhere. But I already broke this loose. Got another one down here. And then, so these two, this one right here, and the one up top. And those are the two bolts you need to do. So earlier when I said, uh, take your uh, lid off your uh, brake fluid reservoir, uh, the reason why is when you push these pistons back, it shifts the fluid back up. And that's what happens. Push it back up which is part of the deal until you step on the brakes and all that fluid goes rushing back in. The good thing is when you don't disconnect uh, the brake lines, you don't have to uh, bleed the brakes. Put the bolts back in. If you straighten everything out, put your new rotor on, make sure you do it properly. And pretty much done. Just gotta go break it in now.